I want to show you this little uh, version of the, I suppose uh, you can call this a kind of a Tesla coil, but um, because it does put out a pretty nice spark. Uh, you can see here the components are very limited, okay, you only have I've got a switch, that's a switch here, resistor, transistor, transformer, and these are your two, uh, your two wires uh, where the spark will jump. That's all it is, I'm powering it right now with uh, about 8 volts through these wires, okay, when I hit the switch you will see that it does produce a very nice spark. It's very quiet. You don't, you won't hear any snapping of the spark because the whole unit is in uh, self resonance. And the color of the spark is, uh, I'm not sure if you can tell in the video, but it's a nice violet color and uh, almost resembles a plasma. So I'm going to push the switch here and you'll see the spark. And actually, if you notice, you won't hear any snapping, arcing sound, or anything like that. It's extremely quiet. Here we go again. Now, I've got these separated roughly about one centimeter apart. Uh, let me just widen this up a little bit more. This is just over a centimeter right now. Let's see if I can get something. Okay, got a minor spark there. So I'm going to increase the voltage up to 9 volts, right now it's at 9 volts, and see what I get here now. Okay, I get kind of like a flamethrower almost, there you go. Okay, it's a little bit too far apart, I'm going to just close it in a little bit. Close it in a little bit more. And there you go, good nice little spark. Okay, now <clears throat> this little unit here is a perfect example of a high voltage generator, plasma generator, where you don't need multiplying capacitors, uh, triplers, or anything like that. Uh, it's very basic switching to the transformer. This transformer here is uh, the primary on the bottom here. You can see it's got the uh, three pins right there and the output two pins okay the output side has an internal resistance of 690 ohms winding and uh, the input side is one ohm right across so the center tap to each side is half an ohm and um, that's basically it okay the transistor is a very fast uh, switching transistor and basically what the circuit does is just sends the B plus in through the center tap of the transformer, comes out through the collector of the transistor and grounds out. Okay, the switch just sends the B plus uh, to the resistor to the base to turn it on. The other half of the, of the uh, center tap coil uh, is acting as a feedback, so that's quickly turning the transistor on and off and produces a nice little spark with these little tiny components or small amount of components, I should say. Okay, there you go. Now this does have the potential to burn wood, okay, which I will show you right now. I'm going to use this pencil right here. I just got some wire wrapped around it, but just the idea of showing you. You'll see how the wood will burn. I'm not sure if you saw that spark, but look at the wood. The wood is actually black. I'll go to a new spot here, and you'll see. Okay, there's the there's the spark again, the smoke again, and there's the burn on the wood. So it does burn wood. It will also burn soft tissue, such as skin tissue. Uh, you can almost use this as a cauterizer. And again, the spark is a very nice spark. It's almost plasma-like. Uh, it is very quiet. And uh, basically, that's it. And you don't need uh, multiplying circuits, like I said. Just uh, this unit here has three components. Transformer, resistor, transistor. That's it. Thanks, guys.